everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my entire Baby Metal t-shirt collection. Baby Metal t-shirts are the most sought after and most popular um, merch of Baby Metal. It's the type of merch that sells out really, really quickly and everybody just loves them and they all wear them to their concerts and just wear them every day pretty much. Some people have all of them, some people have about over 40. And I get asked a lot how many t-shirts I have, and it is a growing collection, but at the moment there's a bit of a lull, because there's not really much going on at the moment um, with Baby Metal, so I haven't really bought any of the t-shirts. Um, so, I have 20 official t-shirts and two unofficial ones. So I'm going to show you all of them. Now I do admit, there are some designs that I just don't like, or they're alright, but I would just never wear them. All of these ones, like I would wear, and because it is baby, I wouldn't buy them just because it's them. I ha it's because they're, they're quite expensive, or the ones you get from Japan are quite expensive. I want ones that I absolutely love and would wear. So I don't like the Warrior tees. If I because they release those tees for every single like concert or thing they do, wherever, um, or every or like a tour they do, they always release a version of that. Um, it's like the warrior one and also the one where it's like the a man in a skull and there's of designs around it. Um, I don't like that. So if I had that one, I would probably have about five or six more. But I just don't like those ones, sorry. They're what I call, they're a bit too metal for me. And to have 20 t-shirts or 22 t-shirts is like loads for me because before I um, even listened to Baby Mel, I would never wear a black band t-shirt. I, I just wouldn't and I'm thinking a few years ago, if you told me that I would buy all of these kind of metal, multicolored t-shirts, I'd be like, what? But I love them and I just <laughs> want to be surrounded by them. So, let's go. Okay, I would tell you the official name of each t-shirt, but I can't remember and I can't be bothered to search for it on Google because it would take me so long. So you're just going to have to go with my description of them. The first one is this, a beautiful t-shirt. I really, really like this one just because it's got the three girls on it. It's got Sue in the middle. Oh my god, it's so good. It's got the two, I've got Mo and Yui holding a flag. And this one's absolutely awesome. I love the colours. It's like green, turquoise and red. It is just stunning. And this one I got from A Smart and this is the Baby Metal Film Fez Fest Tour where they do a live viewing of concerts. And so this one came up on A Smart so I just had to get this one. Next one I got at the same time which is the Film Fez Tour and also on A Smart because they had loads and loads of um, like previous sort of t-shirts that they've done for previous tours and they just put the Film Fez Tour on the back. Um, this is the one from Wembley, I, can't, I don't know which concert this one was from, um, this is the Wembley one, which I didn't get at Wembley, which was shocking, I only got one t-shirt when I went there, or two, um, but this one's absolutely stunning, this is probably the best Wembley um, t-shirt, it's got so many different colours on it, and it's got a similar kind of pushing away, kind of, is it water? I don't know, um, but yeah, it's got the he and Jack there, so cool, oh, it's got two foxes at the bottom. I love them when they have boxes on. So as these are both from Ace Smart, they both got the uh, Baby Metal logo on it, which means they are a lot, they are higher quality than the ones you get when they tour outside of Japan. The next one is my most recent purchase, and it is one of their t-shirts from the Summer Sonic Festival in Japan this year. This one is so so cool. I found this one on eBay. It wasn't too expensive, but it was a lot more than they were actually priced but I'm so, so happy I found it. I was looking for it for so long because they still haven't put it on a smile. I don't think they ever will, so I would never have bought it. So, and on the back it's got this. It's quite a simple back, it hasn't got any like writing on it, which is cool. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorites. I just love the colors of it, and it's got a fox there. This one is my first baby metal t-shirt. It is the Red and Leeds t-shirt with three girls there. One of my favorite designs. They haven't done anything like this since. It's, that's why it's so special. And on the back it has the girls again and then all the dates there. They also do this one with a different back but it just has red and lead on the back. But I have this one. This one's so cool. This is my favourite because it's my first one. 
If you watched all my previous videos, you know that I love this top. This has appeared in a couple of my videos. This is the TB um, t-shirt and it's from the Yokohama. And I got this one from eBay. And the back has this. This one's so cool. Next one is very basic. This is from the Baby Metal UK um, merch website, which is kind of is down at the moment there. Maybe gonna like revamp it and do a brand new merch site, but we're still waiting. America have theirs, but we don't. Um, so this is just the Baby Metal logo in a Union Jack style flag. Nothing on the back, and it is the is it the Gildan style, so it's really rubbish quality. But this came on, sold out really quickly, and I needed it. <laughs> Next is one that I was wanting for so long. It is the Gimme Chocolate t-shirt, which is from their um, show in London. Um, this one was from eBay, and it was only 10 quid. Because I won the bid, and no one else was bidding on it, and I was like, yes. And the back just has Baby Metal on it, with no like writing or dates on it, which is cool. Right, this is the one I got from Wembley. It's an awesome chibi one with all the Union Jack colours on it. This one's so cute. And it has... It has Baby Metal, the SSE Arena, Wembley, London, April 2nd, 2016. Seems ages ago since they came here, which really sad. But this is the one I wear... I wore this too um, when they supported Chili Peppers in December last year. I like, when I go to a concert, I like wearing the t-shirts of, of the concerts I actually went to. Because it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I went there. Oh. Right, I'm throwing this one here. I'm including it in my collection. This is Tom's t-shirt. This is the, um, the Dark Knight Dark Knight's t-shirt. And this is unofficial. This is from eBay because they do a couple um, prints of these which are like rip-off versions but it's exactly the same but with nothing on the back. It's quite bad really but for someone who, um, who just wants to wear a baby metal t-shirt to the concert he wore this to the Wembley show and this was only 15 quid. It's just, you can't go wrong really. Next is one from the Red Up Chili Peppers tour. This is also cool. Actually I'm looking at it and the, the white is slightly going a bit discoloured. You have to be so careful when washing these because Especially the, um, the Gildan design t-shirts, the uh, design wears off really quickly and changes colour and also like, the, the stuff like peels off, you just got to be really really careful. I would hand wash it in my opinion. On the back it has this. This is the other Red Hot Chili Peppers top I got, the chibi one. I'm so glad they did like a good range of t-shirts. They also did that uh, Warrior one, but obviously I didn't get it because I didn't really like them. Um, this one here, I love the purple. This is such a cool design, I love this one. On the back it has this. I feel like I need to do these really quickly because I have so many. Next is the Tokyo Dome t-shirt. but This one is the one from the live viewing which was... Um, it's so funny, if someone reads this if you're wearing it, it says... Um, um, it says live viewing death. <laughs> if you're not a fan you would never know what that means. It would mean like actual death, but no. This one's so, so cool. I love the three girls there, kind of just floating with the huge wings. This one's so awesome. Well, this was the second Wembley top I got, and this is one where you ordered the tickets through, I think it was Live Nation or some website. Um, if you got the extra package, you get this t-shirt as well, you collect when you arrive. Um, this one's pretty cool. It's just black and white, pretty basic. This is like their tour poster and all the writing at the bottom, and the back's really simple. It just says, Baby Metal Road to Wembley. So that one is pretty cool. God, I can't, I just keep forgetting that they did so many t-shirts at Wembley. They had such a big merch collection. Oh my God, it was the best. But this one is from Wembley, but I didn't get this at Wembley. This was from like their leftover merch, so it still has like the logo on the back on the UK, uh, merch website. This is the one I get the most compliments off of if I wear it out or to like a gig or something. I think it's just because the three foxes are so good and it's got like the three girls at the bottom. It just really represents like the Wembley show. It was so epic. The back it has. They have do a, a, a couple of different backs of these. This one's so cool for the scratch through it. These next four are the Metallica and Guns N' Roses t-shirts which I bought from 
Ace Mart when they released them. Well, it was so nerve wracking trying to get those t shirts, but I managed to get the ones I wanted. First one is a Guns N' Roses one. This one's so cool because it's got three girls there, half skeleton and half with their fox masks on. So cool. On the back's really, really nice. I love that fox design and the roses. Perfect. The other Guns N' Roses one, which is very unmetal, it's just got the baby metal uh, name on it, and it's got loads of different like splashes of roses and paint and the fox there. This one's really, really nice. They've not done like one like this before. And the back's like a similar design. So cool. And the roses at the bottom. This is a Metallica one, like the Master of Puppets. They are both, they are, all three of them have got strings attached to them like puppets and the Kitsune hand kind of moving the puppets. This one's so, so cool. And I love the back. It says, um, the fox god led us to the metal master. The last Metallica one, yeah, I think this is my favourite. I love, love this one. You don't really get the three girls in such like big and like good detail on these t-shirts. This is like the only one where you can actually see them really close. And it says metal resistance there. And they've got their fox masks on. And the back's really cool. It's got this skull here with um, kind of a bit of fox there. This one's so cool. Nearing the end of the t-shirt, hang on. Hey, you'll know this one, it's really, really big. Um, the one t-shirt for 2017, which has been extended to March, I think, 2018, which is really exciting. That means they're gonna do something at the end of this year, I can't wait. So this is a huge, big t-shirt, which I use as pajamas, and the back like that. This next one is an unofficial one. I got this after, this is my second t-shirt actually, because I just looked, I went on eBay and thought, oh, I'll just get like a random baby metal t-shirt, see how much they are. I found this one, it's, and it's grey, it's not black. That's why I really wanted it, and it's just got red and black baby metal logo on it. I love this one. And it, it's just, I love grey. Why? They should mix it up, maybe, just to do like, maybe like a charcoal grey um, t-shirt or a light grey one. It'd be really, really cool. The next one is from the Baby Metal UK site. And this is an all over print tee. And it's got the three girls with their kind of cloak slash gowns on with their crowns, which was like the A Smart logo for a while. It's got the moon in the background. And it's just got like space kind of stars design all over it. This is a medium and it's massive. I don't really wear this one much. But, um, but yeah, it's Baby Metal merch, so you've got to have it. Okay, this is the last one. This is another Yokohama t-shirt and I got this from eBay. This one's super, super cool. It's got three girls there and the little two foxes at the bottom. They're kind of sat in their own thrones. On the back it has the final chapter trilogy, Yokohama Arena, and that was 2015. Okay, that is it for this video. This went on for ages. Let me know in the comments how many t-shirts you have. I would love to know, and I know you have loads. But there's some people who only have a few because actually baby metal hasn't come to your hometown or near to your hometown which is really sad like Australia and they're not going to download which was speculated but they're not going yeah, it's very strange they haven't been to Australia thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye there's a pile of t-shirts there I've got to sort out now and put away Oh my god.